A new day is rising, and with this daylight comes 2020 Vision. For our 120th anniversary, Lionel announces not just a new Vision locomotive, but an entire series of the most beautiful steam locomotives ever built. The Southern Pacific's GS class provided mainline power and style for the railroad's passenger and freight trains from 1930 to 1959. Through the Great Depression, World War II, and the prosperous post-war years, the 484s went through six revisions, some of which have never been offered in O scale before. We'll take a look at each one of those classes in more detail, but first let's look at the great new vision features that all these locomotives share in common. New synchronized cylinder steam effect. While we've offered cylinder steam effects on models before, none have had this level of authenticity. Replicating the steam from open cylinder cocks, for the first time this effect will be produced from four separate ports on the pistons, in tune with the rotation of the drive wheels and rods. On the prototype, these valves are opened after a locomotive has been at rest to prevent condensate from cracking the cylinder heads. The result is a tremendous whoosh of steam from each of the open ports in sequence as the drive wheels start into motion. Like the prototype, on these new models the smoke effect will be controlled by the pistons themselves opening and closing four ports to present the ultimate in realism. The effect will be timed with appropriate sounds and of course will start automatically when the train accelerates from a stop. Additional smoke effects. Models will also have two additional smoke effects depending on the class. All models will have stack smoke, of course. Most will also have whistle steam. Models equipped with both steam whistles and air horns will be able to toggle back and forth between the two sounds like the prototype and the steam effect will turn on or off accordingly. Most famous of all the GS locomotives is GS4 number 4449. During its long excursion career, the whistle on this locomotive has been moved forward and next to the stack. In this location, the steam effect from the whistle is largely muted by the stack exhaust. So on models with the forward whistle, we'll be including generator smoke effects instead, with steam from each of the three dynamos above the firebox. Legacy and Bluetooth control. While we've released some of these classes before, our newest Bluetooth control has never been an option until now. For the first time, you'll be able to operate your GS from the Universal Remote or the free Lion Chief app. These devices allow access to many of the most frequently used features without needing a legacy system or any programming. Force Coupler Kinematic Drawbar First introduced on the Vision Niagara, the force coupler feature automatically captures the drawbar pull on the locomotive and translates that data into appropriate sound and smoke responses. A heavier train or steep grade will draw a heavier exhaust sound and smoke, but when you crest the hill and start to coast, you'll hear and see the exhaust wane as the slack rolls in. The kinematic drawbar allows for closer coupling of locomotive and tender for a more realistic appearance without increasing the minimum required curve. Enhanced Sounds each Vision GS locomotive will feature a three-speaker sound system with two in the tender and one in the boiler for the most realistic and balanced sounds possible. You'll also get road number specific crew talk and whistles recorded from actual SP GS locomotives. New tooling. In order to bring you the most accurate versions of all six SP GS classes, Lionel has retooled our existing GS2, 4, and 6 as well as created new tools and our first brass hybrid vision locomotive to add the GS1, 3, and 5 series locomotives. Now that you've seen all that these locomotives have to offer, let's take a closer look at each of the six classes and what makes those prototypes and models unique and special. GS1. The first of the SP's GS classes, the 14 GS1s were delivered from Baldwin in 1930. GS originally stood for Golden State, but the moniker also came to stand for General Service, and these 484s could be found in both passenger and freight train duties throughout their lives. The GS1 saw several changes in their appearance over their three decades of service, but were never given the streamlining of their younger sisters. Despite this, the class retained a well-balanced and stylish look all their own. The Lionel models are the first of this landmark locomotive in O-Scale. Made from a combination of die cast and brass parts, you get the best of vision features, die cast precision and strength, and amazing handcrafted details. Each of the four decorated locomotives has been matched to specific prototype photos for appropriate tender and pilot type, as well as specific detail placements. GS2. With the operational success of the GS1, the Southern Pacific ordered another group of six 484s, this time streamlined to match their new daylight passenger trains in 1937 from Lima. Outwardly, there was nothing like the GS2 anywhere. 
Bold styling and brilliant colors made these locomotives the perfect complement to the new streamlined daylight passenger consoles. They can be most quickly distinguished from later GS classes by having a single headlight, smaller 73-inch drive wheels, and an open cab. GS3. Next in line came the GS3. Lima delivered 14 of these speedsters in 1938. With taller 80-inch drivers, the GS3 could reach speeds of 106 miles per hour. This is the first time we have offered the GS3. GS4. The most famous of the GS sisters, the GS4 lives on in the hearts of many thanks to the preservation efforts around number 4449. So we just couldn't leave this class out of our latest vision offering. The GS4 has introduced a new nose, which included a headlight and Mars light, as well as an enclosed cab. Don't overlook our two special late model GS4s as well. Available separate sale and as part of our vision line set, these locomotives have been partially de-streamlined as they were in later years to facilitate maintenance. GS5. This small class of two was the only group of GSs equipped with roller bearings. One received SKF bearings, the other Timken. While the tests were encouraging, the rest of the fleet was never converted. Lionel will be offering the first O-scale models of this class, including correct locomotive and tender side frames for each locomotive. GS6. The last of the SP-built GSs, the 16 GS6 class are often called War Babies. Built in 1943, the locomotives lacked much of the lower skirting of the earlier models and returned to the single headlight and smaller drive wheels. They retained the GS4's enclosed cab, however. Similar locomotives were built for the Western Pacific as well. The entire GS series is widely regarded as one of the most successful and beautiful in the history of American steam. Lionel's newest vision offering delivers an experience worthy of these works of industrial art. Paired with new passenger cars, vision baggage cars, and vision stock and reefer cars, now you can bring the majesty of the sunset route to your home. See your Lionel dealer to punch your ticket today.